Hi, my name is Shallow. This is uh, Return to Phobos Map 3, Toxin Refinery. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Why all the lost souls? Why? Oh, Phobos, you were doing so well, and, and uh, now you've got gray walls and lost soul spam. I still love those elevators. Those are nice. Definitely the sort of detail that I appreciate in new maps. Doing the, uh... God, what would you call those? Those rails on the side of the elevator that pull the platform up and down? That's a cool little detail. It's really cool to see it in a map this old. <laughs> I really appreciate that. That's great. All right, that opening was not that good for me. But I'm alive, so, you know, whatever. Uh, there's the exit already. Don't tell me this is another one where we, where we can just leave right at the start. Get out of here, you imps. I shouldn't be wasting my time with this. Surely not. No, it's locked. Okay. Uh, not a key lock. I guess we'll have to find a button to open it. Oh, that's a blue door. All right. Going back up. Uh, that's where I started. It's this one. That's also locked. Okay. Well, oh! <laughs> Dropped me right into the shotgunners, you... Clever dog. Yeah, see, rooms like this. Kind of familiar, right? Ah, blue key. Don't mind if I do. Man, I cannot get these barrels to work for me today. Okay, blue door. We know where that is, right? We're gonna have to go all the way to the other side. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth in this map, I think. Ah! Okay, more button. What is this? <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wasn't paying attention if this door opened up or if it just turned the light on. What? What? Did he... <laughs> Did he just walk through a wall? <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> Could be block map stuff. Older map editors have weird bugs. Oh man. I do not miss these uh, blinking dark mazes in old Doom. That is a trend that thankfully died out pretty much immediately. You see it occasionally still these days, but I think people complain about it enough that uh, it's usually a beginner thing. I don't see a lot of uh, very experienced map makers still doing this. Because I think there's more interesting ways to challenge the player than to fuck with their visibility. More interesting from the uh, perspective of more fun for the mapper to implement, I think. Doing this is fairly easy. You just sort of turn it on for the whole sector. Uh, okay, this is a huge maze. Are we going to find a backpack in here, I wonder? There's that secret door. in the Doom 1 dark maze that has a backpack in it, so... Um, yeah, let's go exploring these other corners here. Ah! Nice. Oh, it's Jizzy Doom's gross green one. Alright. I do think it looks cool. <laughs> Jizzy Doom's night vision. I don't think it's for everybody. And it's a bit of a shame that it's on by default. I love a lot of the 
unique stuff GZ Doom brings to the table, all the uh, the tools they offer for people making really advanced maps or even uh, partial and total conversions. I love that stuff, but I, I do think out of the box it should be as vanilla as possible. I'm not the only one with that opinion that's been said a million times and they are very resistant to doing it. So I don't think, I don't think adding any more complaints to the pile is gonna change anyone's mind. <laughs> GZ Doom is just the way it is. And if you play with it, you better get uh, comfortable with the settings menu. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, there's definitely more stuff. Oh, here we go. Ah, this door. Wait a minute, how do I open that door? Okay, do I just wait for the monsters to open it? Not really sure how that works. Whoa, look at this. Um, I wish my night vision, vision wasn't on for this. I'd like to be able to actually see it. This is reminding me of that staircase that has the, uh, the pretty much pointless secret. I think it gives you one helmet in the original Doom. And I always forget it's there. But it's not in this one, so don't worry about it. It's all good. Look at this! You, you hid all the good stuff from me. I could have exited the map without ever seeing this. I would have only seen... Dark maze and gray hallways. You hid this awesome hell castle. And I'm not just saying that because it's green marble. My favorite texture. <laughs> Look at this. You bumped out the little supports. Oh. This is this is like way better done than... Uh, well, okay, we're back to... Gray square hallways. <laughs> this map is a little all over the place. It's got a... Uh, Bit of a personality shift going on. I think it's... I mean, it's got to be intentional, right? You've demonstrated you can do... Not gray square hallways, so when you do, I have to believe it's on purpose. What is that? What are these buttons doing? Plasma gun. Oh, I'm full on plasma? Cool. Nothing? Uh... Alright, so I can go back. Um... Hmm... <laughs> okay. What's over here? Is this open now? It is! It's a real interesting design choice to have so much of your maps hidden from the player. I thought that was a weird fluke in the last map, but it appears to be a theme you're going with. Where is he? I don't know where he is. I'm gonna try to jump across. Oh, nice. Yeah, it seems to be a thing Return to Phobos is doing, where most of the map is optional. Okay, I think I have to probably raise that up before doing this. Um, let's go back around. If, uh, if these maps start to really drag on, I'll start skipping some of these optional areas, but for right now... I'm actually really enjoying this. <laughs> it's a little frustrating the first time it happens because you don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, here we go. I don't run across the gap. I just do this. Okay. Uh, but once you've figured out that that is the game the mapper is playing with you, it's kind of a... It's kind of a fun little challenge.
I guess that's the key to everything, isn't it? Just to manage expectations. If people know what they're getting into, they'll be willing to put up with stuff that, um, you know, if they didn't know about, they wouldn't be so interested in. <laughs> I had a, uh, oh no, wait, give me the, give me the stuff. Oh, I can't even push the button. It's a fake button. Oh, it's a shoot button. Okay. Okay, that's a, <laughs> a weird little prank. I had a friend a long time ago that, uh, one of his favorite things to do was, uh, Go to a party, find the bowl of chips, the potato chips. If they've got, um, if they've got like salt and vinegar chips, grab one of those and put it in the, the regular just salted potato chips bowl. <laughs> People love those vinegar chips. They like them a whole lot less when you're not expecting vinegar. <laughs> That's basically my point. <laughs> it's a harmless prank, but in hindsight, actually kind of not that cool. <laughs> Don't mess with people's food. <laughs> no. It's funny how much growing up is realizing the, uh, the interesting stories you have are actually <laughs> bad things that you grew out of. I'm finding that now when I'm, whoop. Uh, my brother has a couple of younger kids and when we tell them about stuff or we're reminiscing about our childhoods, we're thinking of these funny stories, things that happened to us, things that we did. And his wife is just like, oh my God, <laughs> you can't, <laughs> that's awful. Oh yeah, actually, now that you mention it, that is awful. <laughs> we weren't thinking of it in that context. It was just our childhood. It was just what happened. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. No, let's not, let's not pass those things on. I haven't been up there yet, have I? What is that? Yeah, that's that's new. Suspicious supports, hmm? How do I get up there? Get me back up there. I bet I can shoot that button. Oh good, this is just permanently open now. Nice. Yeah! All right. Do they both go to the same place, or are they options? They both go up here. Cool. And these doors both go to the same place. And that opens this. And that does this. Okay, right, secret exit. Cool, I had forgotten that that was a thing. I talked about it last time, and I completely forgot. Yeah, I'm glad I did all this then. <laughs> We're missing two secrets still. Um. Nothing obvious. Oh wait, right there. There's a hallway I haven't explored and there's something. Something going on with that line there. Should I go explore that hallway? I'm good, actually. I'm good on ammo, good on health, good on armor. I'll leave that hallway to you to explore. <laughs> Dan it, did it, dan it, military base. Oh. Yeah, it's military base, all right. Just a bunch of zombies right off the bed. Nobody in there? Cool. Blue key, already. I don't even know where I'm putting that key. Where's the blue door? All right, there he goes, around the corner. 
Can't go back. Can't hop through there. Hello, you're back. Oh no! <laughs> That's pretty good. You got me good there. <laughs> That's not even a dangerous trap. You'd have to you'd have to do something really strange to get killed there, but it is alarming nonetheless. Where did you come from? Whoop. Oh no. There we go. That's what we uh, build up the plasma reserves for. For just such an occasion. Red key. Okay. Um. Do we do the blue door first or the not key door? Let's do this one. I think this probably goes to. Never mind. It's a dead end. Ah, I thought it would maybe loop around to the backpack. Okay, let's do the blue door. There we go. Um. Huh. Well. <laughs> That's not the most exciting door, is it? Uh. Okay, well, what are our options? Did I... did I touch the switch? No. What did that do? This. Oh! Oh! Oh, cool! It's a little watchtower. Nice. The original military base has that sort of uh, cage in the middle, which I always thought was pretty cool. Some indication that they're maybe, uh, <laughs> they're locking up the zombies. They're getting arrested. Unauthorized possession of a, uh, <laughs> unauthorized possession, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take this. There's a lot of zombies around. Okay, well the first one, first shot, was not deterred by the invisibility. Actually, our shotgunners, they're probably not that negatively affected by the invisibility, are they? Since they shoot out a spray of projectiles. Even if they're off target, some of them are probably still gonna wang you, right? I don't know, that's a question for Decino. But I would suspect so. Alright, we gotta come back here when we've got the red key. Where does this go? Uh. Hmm. Oh, that hurts, okay. Now yeah, let's try it. Huh. Ah, map. Perfect. Just what I need for these. Oh, here we go. Hey, this is going to make this jump easier. Or not. <laughs> oh, wait, is that a door? It's a door. Yeah. Berserk. Very nice. How do I get that map? I don't think I can jump to it. I can't get the momentum here. Probably not from here either. Yeah, no. Alright. Maybe I have to get it from the back? Oh, red key. So many red key doors. Hmm. Alright, well. Shoot. Um, hmm. Hopefully I can get back. Uh, there we go. All right. It's a uh, careful little tightrope walk, but it is possible.
Whoa. There's an entire cave over there. Um, I still don't have anything. <laughs> huh. There's a room back there. There is. Doesn't open like that. It's not connected to that switch. Okay. Hmm. Any of these? Yeah, this one's not a key. Okay. Red key! There it is. Hey. Uh, and we'll go swimming. Yeah, why not? Ooh. Cack a demon in a narrow hallway. Eh, let's not waste this suit. We can come back here in a moment. Let's see what's down here. Bunch of stuff that I don't need at the moment, and an uh, uh, dead end. Cool. And this goes back up to where we were earlier. Hang on, what's this door? <laughs> Blowing up zombies with the barrels never gets old. I don't care how many times you do it, it's always fun. And uh, we're back in the... Back in the red key room. Oh no! Of course that would happen as soon as the uh, suit runs out. Figures. Yep. Yeah. Okay, red key. I'm just running around in circles here. What is this? Backpack, nice. Locked door. And we're back here. Hmm. Oh, look at that. That's weird. The uh, floor textures on the ceiling there. What is that? Uh, what? How do I get in there? Excuse me? There's a door on that side. Oh, here it is. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I think that's a mistake. I think you forgot to put the sky texture on those sectors. Whoops. Mm. Splashing around in the, the UAC hot tub. Nice. This is the Doom uh, Onsen episode. It's just a bottle episode. We're gonna <laughs> have a assorted anime themed fun. Oh. Yeah, you can't do shit now. Nice try. Are you gonna throw something bigger at me? Is that why you're giving me the invincibility? Maybe I should be hurrying here. Cyber demon? Nope, just a baron. It's in episode one, so on the one hand, I think a cyber demon would be a strange choice. On the other hand, you never know with PWADs. Plus, this one was known at the time for its difficulty. But I don't think things were you know, the, the difficulty arms race had not escalated to the point where people were throwing cyber demons around all willy-nilly just yet. I think the difficulty was probably coming mostly from uh, quick ambushes that were hard to deal with without mouse look. <laughs> I say that now and watch me turn a corner and there's going to be a cyber demon. What is all this? Well, 
Wait, there's a door there. What? What is all this? <laughs> oh, it's this. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Actually, no, there's no Cyber Demon or a Spider Mastermind in this. The README specifically says the author didn't want to use those monsters, but did want boss exit stuff. That's why it's an episode one replacement. So he could use Barons. Um, he's very apologetic about it in the README, which is very cute. <laughs> um, Doom at the time, the first episode at least, was distributed as shareware. And it was uh, generally considered bad form to make a PWOD that ran on episode one, because then uh, you could you could get more free Doom just out of the shareware. And people thought it was only fair that if you played user-made content, you at least gave a little back to id, so most people made their PWODs for episode two and above, so you had to own the the, uh, the commercial release to play them. This guy has a whole readme where he's like, listen, I know that's my bad, but I had to use episode one. <laughs> he censors the word doom in the readmes. He's like, I don't want to get any legal trouble. So I'll just put some asterisks instead of the O's in Doom. <laughs> I think these days nobody nobody cares. You're still, I guess, technically legally maybe not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to distribute the uh Okay. I was gonna push that button, I guess you're not gonna let me. You're not supposed to distribute like textures and sprites and stuff from the iwads, but I people uh, I see people making exceptions for that all the time for uh, you know legitimate reasons. I'm not saying they're just blatantly practicing theft. It's usually because they want their map to work a certain way. Same thing same thing for this guy. I think we've grown a lot more lenient about that kind of thing over time, which is probably good. I think releasing the source co uh, code probably had a lot to do with that. The source code being uh, open source obviously doesn't include any of the art assets, but it does sort of change the entire culture around the software from the ground up, even if it is only applicable to the code itself. The whole attitude kind of shifts. I can't get over how good these levels are for 94. Like, I'm just running past it at this point, but look at these support textures. <laughs> that That's ridiculous that you put this in there in 94. <laughs> what a waste of a line death, huh? <laughs> oh! It's a secret door. Nice. Yeah, this would have killed people's computers at the time. <laughs> Oh well, their loss is our gain. Hmm. Man, that is a uh, wide open space and a bunch of hit scan. And barrels? Oh! And it does make those corners kind of nerve wracking. Knowing that a shotgunner could just ignite those from across the map. Oh! Rude. Oh, it gets ruder. <laughs> Rowdy ruder. Yep. Why did you give me a suit? Is there anything I want to splash around in here for? Soul Sphere? Bit of a waste to pick it up now, but... I'm not going to remember to come back for it. And if I do, I'm not going to have the suit, so... Eh, might as well. <laughs> the sector work is really good. The one thing that I think there... is a bit of a lack of is texture variety. Look at this. Great sector work. All the same concrete. Occasionally broken up by some support textures. I guess there's only... 
the, the, you were only comfortable pushing hardware so far at the time. A bunch of line defs is one thing. A bunch of textures is a whole different ballgame. I guess you were comfortable with your map being hard to run. Running a little slow. Not so comfortable with your map not running at all. <laughs> oh, it's the old crisis dilemma. Why would you make a game that hardware can't run? What the fuck? Here it is again. Exit, and we haven't even explored half the map yet. It is kind of fascinating to make a game that nobody can run. <laughs> I think it's probably a good thing to do things like that, to push the limits. I mean, uh, we're still talking about Crisis today, and I'm still playing this map today, so it's not like it was a wasted effort. It made its impact. Ooh. No thank you. Back up, please. Ooh. I want those potions. Not the potions themselves, but the secret that they surely are indicating. Uh, okay, this map has been all over the place, so... Ah, shit. <laughs> Forget the elevators, I'll just throw myself into the pit myself. There's something going on on this wall. Yeah, right there. Right there. Hmm. We'll figure that out later, maybe. Here we go. Into the basement. What's down here? Uh. Ooh, I kind of like that door texture being used as just a wall. I don't know if I've seen that before. That's pretty cool. Blue key. Oh, okay. It's... Fine, it, it's a door, technically. <laughs> uh, huh. What is all this? Does this loop back around? It does. Yeah, I've been here. I've been here. Does this open? Whoa! Oh, oh! What are you guys doing up there? Dying, that's what. Getting shot in the face. <laughs> hey guys, let's all go up there and get shot in the face. Yeah, good idea. Oh, demons. You goofy little goobers. Have I been in here? If I have, it was very briefly. Oh, this is cool. It's sort of sigil. So much red. Oh, that opens. Nothing. Okay. I was expecting barons. <laughs> there really was nothing. Not even supplies. Not really. Two shells and some med kits. In a map full of ammo and med kits. Not the most exciting secret. Alright, let's see where this goes. I haven't found any of the secrets in this map yet. Yeah, you're really hiding them well. into the green marble. There's a lot of texture variety in the map. There's a, a gray area, a red area, a green area. So that's nice. It's just within each area there's not much texture variety. We get a little more here because you've got these brown support beams and the red blood. 
The blood flats are always a great compliment for the green marble. It's so festive. Oh, that's a red key to go back. I don't know if I want to lock myself out yet. Let's just pick off some of these demons while this door wangs me on the head. There we go. Come on. Come back out. You're almost dead. There we go. <laughs> he was only mostly dead. Here we go. No door on this side. I can freely come and go as I please. Look at this. Man. I'm not going to stop gushing over how cool this is as a map from 1994. Look at all this texture variety. Okay, now we're doing it. For the plasma gun? Yeah, that warrants a grand reveal. For sure. You know what? If your computer slows down approaching the plasma gun, that's, uh... That's just... That's cinematic is what that is. Let's see. I think I can... Oh, this doesn't hurt me. Okay, the blood is safe. You never know. Oh, there's the blue key. And an invisibility for some reason. Ah, this is... a bit of a maze. How do I get back up there? No, not there. Ooh, I don't want to jump down because I want to get the blue key, but I do want to know what that button does. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to be able to get back to where I just was. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, these big maps. <laughs> It really feels like an adventure, though. Ooh, yellow key. Okay, cool. As long as we're on track to find a key of some variety. When I first played Doom back in the 90s, um, I had played other video games. I had an NES, so I was familiar with Ghosts and Goblins and Super Mario and Mega Man. I was, I was familiar with the concept of video game characters having lives and there being different levels you could traverse and that sort of thing. Uh, but Doom really immersed me. I know Doom has those exact same mechanics. It's not unique from a mechanical perspective, but I think from a perspective perspective, it was very different. It being first person, certainly was a big deal. Being 3D was a huge deal. It felt immersive. I didn't feel like I was playing, you know, E1, M3. I felt like I was lost in a moon base full of demons and it was terrifying. <laughs> and that's a little bit what this feels like again. I've played bigger, more complicated, more labyrinthine maps for sure, but something about this being so simple and so of its time and still being a huge map that I'm unfamiliar with is throwing me right back into that in a way that I haven't felt in decades. <laughs> have I found a yellow door even? I don't think I have. I've seen red and blue doors. No yellow. Hmm. Got this dang yellow card for no reason. Back in the red zone. All right. Is this how I get to the green marble area? I need to get back to where the blue key was. Yeah, here we go. Whoop. Now, if I can... 
Oh, I'm so invisible. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. Nice. Uh, I bet if you navigate this platform maze, there's other goodies, but I'm going to move on. Have I been through there? Yeah. Um, I've been up here, but I haven't actually been down there. Yeah, let's jump down. Let's see what this area has to offer. Oh, here we go. There's a the yellow door. <laughs> Found it. That's what I thought. And you just allow me back up. Okay. Okay, well. Hmm. Oh, I have the blue key now. Right. Okay. Um. Yoink. Let's go explore some of those blue doors, huh? Let's do that. Let us do that. Here we go. Oh, a map. Oh, this is the inside of that thing I found earlier. Oh, that's annoying that I can't open it from the inside. Oh, well. Well, we have a map now. Uh, that should help us getting the red key, right? Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe? God, you know, there's only two monsters to go. Maybe I'll just leave them alone. <laughs> An entirely optional two monsters and an entirely optional third key. Uh, I've been having fun with these secret hunts. I do appreciate that they are optional. Uh, mostly they are worth it. I don't know if it's worth it to go finding another key just to kill two monsters. This might be one I skip. This might be the first one I skip. Yep, I'm not doing it. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I was half hoping that teleporter would take me to a, you know, one final room where there'd be like two imps or something, but no, no, that's really it. All right. Well, that's the next couple of maps of Return to Phobos Down. We'll finish this up next time. The link is down in the description if you want to download this map yourself. Go find those last couple of secrets. There's a lot of secret hunting to be done here. I'll see you again soon. Until then, you take it easy.